They are the generation of the officeless. They have nowhere to do their work. They harbor global ambitions. And Richard Leyland is determined to guide them to success. We are a billion mobile workers by the end of this year. That's one billion mobile workers. And that is a lot of potential users for his app. Leyland's company WorkSnug uses augmented reality. Computer-generated images on an app that enhance the world around you. It shows people the best places to work while on the go. Leyland is part of a new wave of entrepreneurs hoping to cash in on the office exodus. These days the city is the office. You can go and work anywhere where you can connect your laptop and use your phone. So because of that change, um, there is now a need for a guide to those places. His app might lead users to a well wi fi coffee shop or it might take them to a place like this, the Hub in London. Another way of capitalising on these creative nomads. New members join from $22 per month. Dermot Egan founded the Hub in London's King's Cross in 2008. He wanted a place where the officely challenged could connect and create. And we're often trying to set up new initiatives and businesses from their bedrooms or from coffee shops, uh, trying to steal a kind of uh, a bit of Wi-Fi here and there in kind of random locations. And I think what the hub has done is it's given them a physical home. In fact, that home has turned into a campus. The hub brand has been franchised to more than 20 locations, from San Francisco to Tel Aviv to Johannesburg. But does it work in practice? Hugh Carling runs an interaction agency and actually credits the hub as being good for business. The hub um, enables us to um, both work remotely with, uh, with our freelancers but also to bring them in um, so we can all share the same physical space um, as and when we need. Um, and the time-based membership of, of the hub enables us to, to expand and contract our team um, according to the projects that we have um, at any given time, which just means that we can keep um, extremely lean. In these lean times, this might be the only instance where workers being out on the street is actually good for someone's business. Richard Crest, CNN, London.